Okay, so what we're going to be talking about today is how to theme a particular form within Form.io. Now, what I'm actually viewing here is a project that I have in Form.io. This is a, a company that we're working with, and they have a number of resources as well as a number of forms. Uh, the, form, the particular form that I'm going to be working on theming today is actually going to be this opportunity form, which I, if I click on that, you'll see that here's the opportunity uh, form that I can actually edit. This is something that you would actually build within Form.io using our form builder. But one thing that I really would like to point out is that we do provide within the form builder some facilities for you to actually utilize whenever you're theming a form. One of those things is that we actually provide you this custom CSS class that you can put your own custom classes in and then within every your style sheets you can then add whatever you want uh, within the style sheets to theme that form. Um, so that's also used. We also have this thing called layout, which you can actually add your own custom margins. I typically, if you're going to be providing your own style sheets, I typically say don't even touch these um, just because um, adding a CSS file for this form is actually a much better way to go. Um, so if you do need to hone in on this particular field, the better way to do it is actually um, to just use a lot, utilize this custom CSS class. So once we have our form created, what I'd like to do is just kind of take you through the process of building a style sheet for the form. In, in, my, in my opinion, the easiest way to do this is to actually utilize Chrome DevTools to do it. So here I'm, you'll see I'm, I'm using the Chrome browser and I'm going to use the DevTools to actually uh, build a style sheet in the, in the browser and then be able to copy that um, into like GitHub um, you can use a gist in GitHub to do this as well. So what I'm going to do is go to launch section and in the launch section I'm just going to click on a single form. So what we're doing here is we're actually uh, going to launch the opportunity form. Now whenever we say the word launch what we really mean is that we're basically taking this form and we're viewing it publicly. To do that we can actually click on this little button here and that'll actually launch the form into our form viewer. Now as you can see the URLs basically tell you what form that we're pinpointing here. This is the actual subdomain for our project and this is the um, API path for our form. And here's the form. It's actually rendering within the browser and I could actually share this link with somebody else publicly and anyone could now fill out my form. We can also utilize this form viewer as a means to theme the form and create a style sheet um, so that we can theme it the way that we want to. And the, the way to do that, in fact the easiest way to do that is open up your dev tools. There's a couple of ways to do that. Um, the, the way that I like to do is just use command option I. I think you can also go to view developer and click on developer tools. So that's going to actually open up our dev tools here. And from that point, we can actually see, we can actually look at the elements within this form um, just by hovering over the items, and that actually shows that to you. We can also click on sources to view all of the style sheets that are currently being included. One thing that I will mention is that all of the forms within Form.io are themable using a, a platform called Bootswatch. Now, these are all bootstrap forms, and so with Bootswatch, you go there to just bootswatch.com, you'll see that they provide a number of themes uh, for, for the uh, boot, uh, bootstrap. So like if I clicked on Cosmo, you'll see that here's a Cosmo theme. There's a lot of really cool, um, really cool uh, themes. In fact, like here's paper, which is um, like material, uh, for those of you who are fans of material UI. Um, so we can actually, just to show you, I can actually take this, this name called paper, so what I can do here is I can actually take that uh, name of that theme and just type theme equals paper. And this will actually change my form so that it's now using the material UI, which actually is pretty nice. I mean, it just puts an underline for all of the input items. And as you can see, we, ha we now have a fully themed um, form according to that template. Now, this is pretty cool, so I can actually pick any of these themes that are available. Sometimes you'll find some um, themes that don't look right. Um, so like uh, sometimes, like for example, I think one of the themes like Cosmo, if I click on it and I do Cosmo here, I really like this theme, but there's one thing that 
that I don't particularly like, which is these black buttons over here. Um, and also you'll notice that the calendar uh, numbers don't really show up. Um, so I'm actually going to use this as an example of I want to provide my own custom themes uh, CSS to sit on top of this theme to fix some of the things that I don't particularly like. Um, so that's what we're going to do. The So going back to my dev tools, let me just click on that. So view developer tools. Um, what we're going to do is actually uh, point uh, hone in on the thing that we want to change. So let's just start with this little button here. We're going to make that a, a light background um, just so that it looks a little bit better, just more, more consistent with what you see over here. Um, so to do that, I'm just going to click on this and go find where that's coming from. So it looks like um, we're just going to just keep clicking until we see, I think it's going to be this button. Yep, it's right here. This button default, it looks like the background color is dark. And if I get rid of that, it actually makes it look a lot better if I just remove this background color. So here's what I typically like to do in Chrome. Um, Chrome also allows you to build a style sheet that you can add a style sheet in inline to this page. And the way you do that is you can just click on this little plus button here. It says new style rule. If I click on that, you'll notice it created a style rule. But what's more interesting is this little thing over here called inspector style sheet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on that because that's going to take me to a place where I can actually start writing CSS in line and start modifying things. And then when I'm done, I'll essentially be able to just copy and paste everything within this inspector style sheet and put that in my own external CSS file. Um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. And so let me just go ahead and get going. So the, the way to go back and forth is inside of sources, you'll see the inspector style sheet. And if I click on elements, I can start you know, honing in on things. So this particular one, um, I don't want to actually make it just button default. What I would like to do though is make it more specific to this calendar um, button. So let me just, first of all, let me just see what happens if I change the background color here to, we'll make it a little bit darker than that. Yeah, I like that. And then we're also going to make the border color the same thing, or we'll make it a little bit darker. Actually, we'll make it uh, just find a nice muted. Okay, that looks actually pretty good right there. The only problem with this is I do not want to change all of the button defaults to this. I just only want to change the calendar icons, which actually seems to be or any button that's actually included in an input. So let me go back to my elements here and you'll see that this is inside of an input group. So what I can do is I can actually go back to my sources and then say input group. So now I know that I'm only going to be able to, I'm only going to be changing the background color for things within that input group. So now let's actually fix um, and actually what you can see now is I also ended up fixing this, although I'm not really a big fan of how this looks. Um, I'd like to maybe make that a little bit darker. Let me just see what... Uh... So I could make it really light, but actually what I'd, what I'd rather do is make this C again. And instead of these being dark, I want to make those white. So let me just click on this. So this looks like it's going to be in a UIB day, day picker. So I want to just start with that. Okay, That's going to allow me to hone in on those. Um, so let me do UIB day picker. And then I'm going to do this input group. And then I'm just going to copy this up here, and I'm going to make sure I change. So we're going to change that color. Let's 
Let's see, what did I do wrong? Okay, so that works. So now, um, now I'm, I'm changing this back to white, and then these stay the same. However, I want to change, give this a color of something dark. So now, what we now see is that our calendar looks good. We have um, the background color is now consistent for these buttons and all of the hovers and everything looks good. And also my buttons over here look good. So now if I were to actually apply this theme to this form, it would look really good. Um, so now how do I take this theme and provide it to this form? So I can either A, whenever I'm embedding this form into my project, I can include this style sheet. But there's also something else that I don't know if many people know about, which is I can add this to a gist in GitHub. So let me just copy this style sheet here and go to gists in GitHub. And I'm just going to say styles CSS and I'm going to add my styles into a gist. And I can even make this a secret gist. So I'm just going to click on secret gist. And then at that point, I can go to raw on this file. Now keep in mind, GitHub pages is, is or gists are not good because this is, your CSS is going to reject this because this is a, um, this is not returning the, con the correct content type. But there's this thing called raw git um, that I use all the time. And if you just go to rawgit.com, and I can actually copy and paste a gist URL in there, and it will give me a, um, another URL down here that I can actually use for my style sheets. And so now I have these styles, and I can actually go to my viewer and apply these styles to my viewer. Um, the way to do that, though, is you actually have to pass that into the URL as a base64 encoding. And it's actually a URL safe base64 encoding. Um, the way to, best way to do that is actually go to the viewer and click on console and type base64 encode URI. URI. And then you're going to do open parentheses and then the URL and hit enter. That's going to give you a URL encoded string. We can then take that, copy it, and then type style and paste that string. And when we do, the form is immediately going to apply. Maybe it's styles. I think it might be styles. So when we do, the form immediately brings in those external style sheets into the form so that we can actually see what that looks like live in the form. So hopefully this little tutorial gives people a really good idea that um, on how to theme our forms as well as the, how flexible our form system is and how you can make the forms look like however you want them to look like um, as they're embedded into your project. So thanks for watching and enjoy Form.io.